Cheers to myself. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of SIDS, where I just do my stuff. <sighs> have a friend who's changing his timing change, timing belt on his Subaru. We're going to go over there, help him out with it. He needs some of my tools, which only I have, which he doesn't have, because he doesn't have like a workshop. Gonna grab the tools that I have, which he could really help him out with it. Bring it down there, see what's up with him. Alright, so my instructions were firm. Let me read my instructions to you. Now, he specifically told me that he needs, he needs something small enough to fit into a tight space. And undo a 12mm bolt, which he thinks it is. The next thing he said... 10 millimeter socket. That's just in case. Well, this is great. I don't know where, where anything is on this. So I know we need this one. And then we need apparently a 10. Where am I going to find a 10 in this? Alright, now somehow in some way, I've got this tool here, this tool here, small one of the big ones, an extender and a little thing to make that, that size. Yep. Somehow, I don't know how, but I found an 11. A 10, a 12, a 13. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, those are some precious things right there. If you were to lose all of that, you'd legit lose your virginity or something. Oh, my head. What we're going to do is we're going to hop in. We're going to go down there and we're going to help him out. I'll see you guys there. See, one thing I'm not happy about, the shit I'm not happy about is this shit. Mm. I'm unhappy about this. <laughs> so it's meant to have five ribs. And five. It has like some. It has three on some parts. So this is his old timing belt. No, no, Just, I think it's the fan belt. That's what. Fan belt. So it's two belts. Uh, yeah, but all right. So that's the fan well, belt that goes to the. Oh, that's the <laughs> belt that goes to the power steering, and the alternator. That's why I couldn't grip properly. Yeah. And my steering would come in and out. Yeah, and your battery light came on as well. Yeah. But like, look at this. So, you know, where's the proper timing belt? Like, this is what, like, a timing belt's meant to look like, right? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'm not timing belt, it's just a belt of some yeah. sort, right? <laughs> yeah, just, look, this is what a belt's meant to look like. Yeah, this is what I couldn't get to. And this is what his belt looks like. The sad life of this GC8. <laughs> very, very depressed. Every day I cry. Every day we cry. Poor thing. Poor vehicle. <laughs> Oh. 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 Yeah, so basically, we need to get all this off on my car. I and see. then there's a tensioner here mm. that we need to loosen so this can pop down. We take off the belt from the side. Mm. And we need to get down here, loosen this one to loosen mm. this tensioner mm. so we can change this belt. Because we need to check the, change the back belt for the front one, but I've only done the front one because mm. I can get to the back one. Mm. Nice. It's dead. It's asleep. It's in hibernation. It's, yeah, it's hibernation. Ignore the fact of that yep. right there. Well, that was on dumb kind of lights. Uh, but it still runs. It still works. Everything's fine. Engine moves. This That's just needs to be exactly fixed. exactly the same. Just because you can drive doesn't mean other people can. Yeah, true. Like you may know how to drive, but then other people don't. That's the actual key story. So what we're going to do is we're going to get straight to it. Taking, what are we taking off here? We're going to take this whole cover off. So we're going to take that cover off. Alright, so we're here now. We've taken this off. He took, swapped this one out. That's why it's brand new, as you can see, and tightened it up. Just make sure you don't over tighten it or it's going to sound like a supercharger. That's what it should have looked like. Yes. This is what was on it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah. That's where you boost. So, like, it's room. <laughs> uh, you got one. Okay, so, yeah, so there's two here. So there's that one and then there's this one. As yep. you can tell, this one's about to give way as well. This one's been like exactly like this since I bought it, the car, but last year. Bro, don't you think you may have, you should have replaced it? Yeah, yeah, I did. Mm. And then I forgot. Oh, yeah. So every time he puts, this guy puts his foot down and it accelerates, it like jolts and it struggles. But that's why you have to hold it until you get to like 3,000 revs. Yeah. And then you can just slam your foot down. Yep, because that's when the belt's actually caught on. But I'm pretty sure the whole time it was loose and it was slipping. And then recently, his power steering went off. And his alternate, oh sorry, his battery came on, on the dash there. 
and this one that we replaced that you saw that was utter complete trash was slipping loose you could literally take it off with your finger so then that was completely worn off it wasn't charging the battery with the alternator and it wasn't spinning the power steering so then that gave him no power steering um. <laughs> cut the belt <laughs> literally cut the belt there we go Oh no, we'd still probably take it all well, off. Well, we can cut that belt, but we just need to make sure that we can actually get it back on. Yeah. The new one. Yeah. So we're gonna take it off. Happy to cut it. No, yeah, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take this off logically, so we can put it back on logically and not cut it and content. Then put yeah. Nah, <laughs> that's not content we want. <laughs> Although that would be fun. I think I'm done my job. Yep. Do you have all the tools here? I got all the tools I need. You need any more tools? No, I don't need any more tools because I've got all the tools that I need. Right. <clears throat> okay, people. So now we have loosened what they call this bolt down here. It's a bit hard to see, but it's down there. Okay, yep, you'll see it when we take it, when we sort of take it off. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. Yeah, you can see it's shining. That's what we loosened. Bit of a bitch, but we did it. We're going to take this off. We're just going to take off the tension off of this belt. And then we can take this whole belt off. 10 millimeter or 12 millimeter? Maybe we should help Ollie find the belt. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> He's slapping so basically, on now. because we loosened this one, the sure. third one, we only need to put it on the two big main ones. Yes. And then we, as we tighten this, it'll connect with this. Mm. It'll go down and it'll just make it really tight. Okay. Just how you like it's it. The reverse process of what we just did. Yeah. So this is gonna be a struggle though because these belts are brand new and really tight. So you need camera. here we go. A camera. Yeah, so you need a camera to record. A Volkswagen. You need a Volkswagen. Yep, check. A broken GC8. A broken GC8. Check. Um, a recycling bin and a non-recycling bin. Yep, we got that. Yep. And I usually need a life, but I mean we're doing fine. Oh. Yeah. Well, now it's stuck, so I just jinxed myself. <laughs> so on the other hand, here you need ten and twelve of this, and then you also need. Something like this to lever the 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 bolt we just took off because it needs to be pulled and you need like a long version of this. So if you have a long version of that one there, it should be fine. But we basically what we did is there, yeah, pull, yeah, and that, that's what we did twice. And then obviously you need like a spare, 10, 10 and twelve of this, and a, and a little extender, and that's it. That's literally it. You're acting like we just finished. Oh, <laughs> we still gotta do this. We still gotta do this. We haven't finished. But yeah, so okay. we're still taking this. Needs putting to be on this. That needs to be on that. Well, I think um, you never look at the camera. You always look above the camera. Yeah, it's because I'm always like this, <laughs> looking at. Because I feel awkward like look, look, look at the camera. Okay. I feel like I'm looking into one big eye, like Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, <clears throat> so replace the fan question. belts and the belts over here. <clears throat> it's not the timing belt because the timing belts like fucking down in in there. Refrigerator. So we put it back on. Push. Put this one on. We basically like spun it on. And then we tighten this up, which I obviously spun it on. he I spun it on. We then tighten the alternator, and then underneath that, you see a little bolt there, that one, and then that's this the, is all red and that's like the final, soft and yeah, and that's the final tight that you do. And now this one's on pretty, pretty tight. This one's on pretty tight. And you know what? Go start your car. If it blows up, I got it on camera. Well, this is all like soft and like tender. -y. Yeah, I know. Start your car. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can I reverse into the behind it? Whoa. <laughs> You look. Look. 299291. Let's see, there we go. 299291. Alright, it's got like 709 kilometers to go. Yeah. You should see how sick the belts look though, because they have that white bit. That, that's better. Aesthetically pleasing as well. When we discovered the belts were fucked, these were in my alternator. <laughs> that wasn't in. Yep, see that? That is from this. Alright, but either way, those little shreds were from the, those belts there. Fix that all up, it looks probably pretty sick. Probably still something in here, to be honest. Yeah, probably still something in the alternate, it doesn't matter. What we're going to do is we're going to go for a little test drive, put the tools back. Put, put the shields on first. Put yeah. the shields on first, stuff like that. Go for a test drive. He puts his foot down, if it if judders, it still does what if it still does what it does, then his actual timing belt may need replacing. Um, if it doesn't do it anymore, that solves a lot of issues that happened with the car. We'll get to the test drive after and I will show you guys that when we get there. Well fellas, 
so that's all done hoods down we're gonna go for a little road trip and see what the big horse has to say for himself yeah. even though it's like um stock but well, i actually don't think it's stock hey i think the turbo is bigger than it should be because these turbos were experimental um so the engines were experiments mm. for um safari and yeah. because it went well they made the xc yeah oh 33 Right there. Shit. So, so it's not jittering anymore, is it? No, it's oh. changing so smooth. Oh, oh we flicked so many problems. Oh, just pops still though. Pops? So, hmm. Hmm. so we still pops, but we fixed. Well, it's still warming up, issues. so it could be just because it's cold. Maybe. Well, that's just my nut inside of here. Oh. I don't put enough grease on it. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It's technically it's my left nut. It's left side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But I always have my hand on the knob anyway. Fair enough. I'm the gear stick knob. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there we go, that was another successful fix for his car. It fixed a lot of issues which are happening with his car. There's still obviously some because that car's almost hit 300,000 kilometers. Um, so there's other issues with it, like it, it's backfiring a little bit here and there. Um, so that could be just spark plugs. It's smoke coming out and we can see it's a bit of like a, it may be a gasket leak or an oil leak somewhere. Look into that, that's some other problems for another time, but the main problem was changing those belts at the front which caused the battery lights to come on, no power steering, juddering when accelerating, that fixed a whole bunch of the issues. So that is all done, but yeah, as you saw the old one was completely torn and messed up and there was like, there was meant to be five, like five ribs, they go all along the belt and there was only like two or three and some, yeah, two or three ribs on the one that needed five, so that that's probably was completely messing up everything, but we put them on and it fixed a whole lot of issues, which is awesome. And to that, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, share my content, and leave a like. Check out the video card at the top, at the top here. It takes you to a video on a crazy June buggy that we saw at, a, at the shop and finally fixing my suspension, so that is completely solved in my car. So check out that video at the top there. To that note, I'm going to end it off here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to work hard and stay positive. So you find your way back home.